Hello and welcome. In this video, I will talk about a new feature called Foreign Currency Devaluation Posting Profile. This new feature is available from 10 or 32 version. Before this version, this feature is not available. Let me explain about the problem statement first, then we will talk about this feature, how it works and all. So as of now, the foreign currency revaluation needs to work. Any any realization gain, any unrealization gain and loss or realization gain and loss. System used to post from the ledger account setup, from the ledger setup itself. There was no other possibility we could define that you know based on some combination, based on vendor group or other combination, we could define uh, the other ledger accounts when the foreign currency revaluation. Uh, component used to post into the system. Going forward, Microsoft has introduced a new feature called micro, uh, foreign currency valuation posting profile. Like other posting profile, here also we can define you know uh, many combinations. How it works, I will show you now. So this is the new form which Microsoft has introduced. So for general ledger, we have unrealized gain, unrealized loss because there is no realization in general ledger. For accounts payable, we have unrealization gain, unrelation loss, realization gain, realization loss. Similarly, for account receivable bank, bank as well, we have different, different components. So what is this feature all about? So unlike the previous uh, setup, only the four ledger account we should define. Here, we can you know, define ledger account based on our requirement Say suppose an organization wants to have different ledger accounts for different vendor groups. Similarly for customer group as well for account receivable. So I will talk about only accounts payable but the same thing will happen in account receivable itself. So let's assume an organization wants to set up a combination if a currency is USD or INR or any currency or let's assume any currency uh, in the company but the uh, ledger account will be different based on the vendor group. However, it is also possible to set up multiple currency combination and also vendor wise, group wise and all vendor. So in this example, I will talk about or I will show, uh, show you an example based on the different vendor groups the different ledger account will come to the picture. So for now, I have configured for unrealization gain and unrelation loss for vendor group 10 and vendor group 20 and I have defined these two accounts. Let's see how it works. I already have posted some transaction. So I will run the foreign currency revaluation and we will see for this vendor group the transaction if it is unrealization loss this ledger account will come to the picture in the entry. Similarly for unrealization gain for vendor group 10 and vendor group 20 will have different ledger account respectively. I will show you. I will run the foreign currency revaluation now. I will just click on foreign currency revaluation. Maybe I can consider today's date, 24th of March, rather than 23. And rest of the thing is fine. I will click on OK. Mm, OK. Let's wait for a couple of seconds until it is posted. OK. It is now posted. This is today's date. I will see the voucher now. <clears throat> All right. So if you notice that and uh, maybe I can do one thing I can. Uh, I can just filter with the exchange gain loss, exchange rate loss. And the filter is one of. Ah, sorry. Exchange rate gain. exchange rate gain posting type okay now all the things are exchange rate gain or loss so if you notice 
that for 10104 vendor account and let me go to current currency evaluation posting profile I go to accounts payable so if it is uh, uh, 180290 this vendor okay sorry if I go here it's 104 this vendor is from the 10 vendor group I can also show you the vendor number from here uh, okay this is the vendor number I can go to so this is the vendor number 104 and this belongs to vendor group 10 and if I go to foreign currency posting profile so any vendor group any vendor belongs to this vendor group it will post into 180290 ledger account as a unrealized gain or unrealized loss as per the setup so if i now go to the transactions for currency transaction you will notice this same ledger account is used similarly if i go to this vendor group 20 and this vendor group means this uh, 1003 vendor if you see this 1003 uh, this vendor for unrealization gain and loss has been posted into this ledger account however if you notice if i go to our legacy setup uh, okay if i go to general ledger if i go to ledger setup you will notice this realization gain is different than it is posted which means we can we have basically defined all the ledger accounts and combination based on the vendor group whatever is posting from this vendor group it is posting under this ledger account and for this vendor group 20 it is posting under this ledger account so by the similar way we can define as many as combination and we can define different different ledger accounts like for other posting profiles suppose customer posting profile you know vendor posting profile bank bank account posting profile any posting profile where we can define based on current based on vendor group or customer group we can define ledger account similarly here as well microsoft has introduced new feature called foreign currency revaluation posting profile you can define as many as uh, you know combination and based on that this ledger account will come to the picture however the question is I mean, what if we don't set up it or what if we don't configure this? Is, is it mandatory to set up this? Unlike other posting profile, this is not mandatory. If we don't have this in, you know, here, then it will directly check another posting profile, which is called foreign currency, uh, <coughs> currency revaluation accounts, which means here, if we have configured currency wise ledger accounts system will check whether any ledger account is configured here or not if so you need to understand the chronology so i have defined this in a ppt as you can see this posting system will see first if there is any foreign currency posting profile set up or not for for the same combination if yes then it will take from the foreign currency revaluation posting profile ledger accounts if not then system will think the next part is currency revaluation accounts currency revaluation account means currency wise we can define ledger accounts based on this ledger based on this uh, unrealization gain or loss based on this currency this ledger account will come to the picture as part of the booking of entry system will post into this what if we don't have any setup here as well then system will directly take the ledger accounts from the ledger setup here so as you can see first no this foreign currency devaluation posting profile setup is no then system will check currency devaluation account if it is not there then system will take from the ledger setup that is all about the foreign currency devaluation posting profile what i wanted to show you how this new foreign currency for posting profile foreign currency revaluation posting profile you know works however if you want you can configure it and after that you can remove this and you can test how it works whether it is still taking any giving any error or not 
but uh, what i wanted to say you that it is not mandatory you can configure it as per the requirement because many organizations like i mentioned many organization i have seen that uh, coming up with some requirement that the system has some limitation and for all the currency for all the set of other combination if uh, they want to have a different ledger accounts for different currency based on vendor groups that is that was not possible so microsoft has uh, introduced this and by this feature i think there are lot of business cases which was uh, pending it will be resolved um, i am hoping for that if you want you can pitch this or you can sell this product to your customer and this will be a good addition to the existing uh, functionality to microsoft dynamics stify so that's it for now okay and stay tuned let's wait for my another video bye for now